Well, welcome to News OK TV, everyone. I'm Dave Morris. And I'm Angie Bruss. Allied Arts is nearing its deadline to reach its fundraising goal for Central Oklahoma. The deadline is Thursday. The goal is $3 million. Allied Arts officials say they have about $90,000 left to raise. Since 1971, Allied Arts has mobilized more than $43 million to ensure a vibrant, sustainable arts community and arts and education. The goal of Allied Arts is to make the arts accessible to all, and the funds raised during the annual campaign help make that possible. You can help go to alliedartsokc.com. Very hot with the chance of thunderstorms in Oklahoma early this week. A so-called cold front will bring a small amount of relief from the heat on Tuesday, at least to most parts of the state. The front will also bring a chance of thunderstorms mainly to northern and central Oklahoma. By Wednesday, however, the heat is forecast to return to near the current levels and continue into early July. The National Weather Service advises to avoid the heat, especially during 1 to 6 p.m. each day, drink plenty of water, and choose lightweight, light-colored, loose-fitting clothing. Just some tips to fight the summer conditions in Oklahoma. Oklahoma City's La Ronda Darby appeared on the June 27th episode of ABC's Extreme Makeover Weight Loss Edition. The 26-year-old battled her weight for years. She says her first diet came when she was eight and weighed over 100 pounds. But when her mother died because of diabetes, Darby said she decided she wasn't gonna sit around on the couch and watch herself die. She interviewed for the show and started fighting for her life. You can watch more online at abc.com. Well, Suzanne Tate, executive director of the Oklahoma Arts Council, has announced her retirement after 20 years of service to the state agency. The council has started a search for a new executive to succeed Tate, whose retirement will be effective November 1st. The council is the official state agency for the support and development of the arts in Oklahoma. St. Anthony Hospital is expanding its reach in Oklahoma City with two new campuses, including first in Oklahoma freestanding emergency rooms. Each new center to be operating by early 2012 will have a full emergency room, diagnostic imaging center, sleep center, and breast center on the ground floor. An asteroid came fairly close to us on Monday. The asteroid had no chance of hitting Earth. It was about 7,600 miles away. Still, that's fairly close. The asteroid was between 15 and 60 feet wide. Well, Chris Brown won numerous awards on Sunday's BET Awards ceremony. Brown was named Best Male R&B Artist and won Best Collaboration for his song Look At Me Now with Lil Wayne and Busta Rhymes. He also won the Fandemonium Award and the Viewer's Choice Prize. Pixar's animated sequel Cars 2 cruised to a number one finish with a $68 million opening weekend. That makes 12 wins in a row for Pixar since the company's first feature film, 1995's Toy Story. Premiering in second place was Cameron Diaz's classroom comedy, Bad Teacher. The city of Mustang has issued a boil alert after bacteria was found at a single site in the city. The city tested 18 areas, including homes, businesses, and city taps, and one site resulted in a positive test result for fecal chloroform. The boil alert will be in effect until the testing point produces negative results. So if we learn one thing in News OK TV, this, this fine episode today, Angie, is going to be hot all week long. It, it will be. It definitely will be. Stay in the shade, stay cool. For News OK TV, I'm Dave Morris. And I'm Angie Bruss. See ya.